Hey folks, I'm Chris Brenton, and today I want to give you a working definition of the term threat hunting, because there seems to be a lot of confusion around what this is, how it works, what's it have to do with threat intelligence, um, and so on. So number one, threat hunting is an active, proactive activity, meaning that this is something we actively do. We don't wait until something else occurs before this kicks off. So if you, if you think you're doing threat hunting, and your threat hunting step number one is when an alert goes off in our scene, dot, 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 we do something else. No, that's not threat hunting. That's, that's a responsive. You know, we're, we're reacting to something occur that's more, maybe more along the lines of forensics. So with threat hunting, we're actually going in to see are any of our internal systems, not just desktops, but everything, are any of our internal systems showing signs of being compromised? I was seeing those, uh, those clear indicators that an internal system is uh, created a command and control channel with some system out on the internet. The output of a threat hunt, meaning the, the results of what we get, is a compromise assessment. So a successful threat hunt is where at the end we can say with reasonable certainty all of our systems are in a pristine shape or all of our systems look good, but we need to do further investigation on these one or two that may be in a compromised state. So when you think about like waiting for alerts off your scene, you'd never get up one morning and say, hey, I know my network's safe. You know, that just, we don't do that. Um, but with a threat hunt, we're actively going in and looking for it. That's what gives us that validity that our network is currently not in a compromised state. So that's our definition of threat hunting. Uh, hope to see you again soon.